The fake news media and their Democrat partners are working hard to determine whether or not the future attack by terrorist Soleimani was imminent or not, and was my team in agreement? The answer to both is a strong yes, but it doesn't really matter because of his horrible past. We have Trump speaking up on social media and saying that it doesn't really matter whether or not Qasem Soleimani actually represented a threat to Americans because he was a bad fellow who had a bad past. Since Qasem Soleimani was killed by the United States, the United States has been emphasizing that Qasem Soleimani was bad, that he represented an eminent threat to the United States. We killed Soleimani, the number one terrorist in the world by every account. Bad person. There's no terrorist except Osama bin Laden who has more American blood on his hands than did Qasem Soleimani. There's a compelling case of an imminent threat. An imminent threat. Soleimani was plotting imminent and sinister attacks on American diplomats and military personnel. Ever since the killing, many, both in the United States and around the world, have questioned whether it was the right thing to do. Many saw it as a hugely unnecessary escalation with the Islamic Republic of Iran, a completely unjustified killing of a top general of a foreign country. The Trump administration insists that American lives were in danger. They have large-scale attacks planned for other embassies, and if those were planned, why can't we reveal that to the American people? Wouldn't that help well, your I can, case? I can reveal that I believe it would have been four embassies. However, even Trump's own Secretary of Defense, Mark Esper, doesn't exactly buy that. Well, the president didn't say there was a tangible, uh, he didn't cite a specific piece of evidence. What he said is he probably, he believed. Are you saying there wasn't been, one? I didn't see one with regard to four embassies. Pretty dramatic statement from the American leader, essentially saying that it doesn't matter if American lives were in the balance, it was justified to kill the top general of a foreign country. It's not necessary that they actually represent a threat as long as they had a history of bad bad deeds or a bad past. U.S. administration's policies is not based on facts, it's based on lies and misstatements, and it's not based on the international rule of law. It's based on two other things. One is the view that the U.S. is an exceptional country, that it is, it does not have, it is above international law, it doesn't have to pay attention to the rules, and it's also based on the false notion that the U.S., um, is uh, the only superpower in a unipolar world. Uh, U.S. administrations still act as if they are the cops of the world, they are the bullies on the block, and they can take whatever actions that they feel are appropriate for them, irrespective of international law.